The Foreign Secretary launched the ninth Hajj delegation at the House of Lords in London and paid tribute to British Muslims. It's uh, a real uh, privilege to be here to launch the Hajj delegation uh, today. Uh, two million Muslims, perhaps a little more, in Britain. And uh, I've read that the Hajj is one of the five pillars yes. of the Muslim faith. And the uh, strength of will and strength of character and determination of many British Muslims uh, to make the, the trip uh, I think uh, speaks obviously to the devotion within the Muslim community, but it sends a wider message. Because I, as I read it, many of the values uh, and instincts that the Hajj is intended to celebrate are ones that all British citizens, whatever their religion or race, would recognize. Commitments to peace, to justice, to the equal worth of all human beings are values that are shared right across the British community. And I think it's important to emphasize that universal message at a time when we're rightly celebrating the culture and religion of one of Britain's important communities. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office have published a number of documents to help Hajis before they make the trip to Mecca. During the visit, the Hajj delegation offers advice and support to British Muslims there. It's been led for the past eight years by Lord Adam Patel, who believes government funding for the delegation sends out the right message and shows Britain's commitment to the Muslim community. They will feel, you know, that we are the uh, part of Britain, uh, and uh, uh, we are being uh, given, you know, uh, all sorts of services. Uh, which uh, other governments are not providing. So this is very important, you know, for the uh, uh, British Muslims and uh, even the British government, uh, because uh, this helps, you know, uh, in uh, bringing the bridge, you know, between the Muslim community and the uh, 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 government and also uh, to other faith community. Doctors who've been to the Hajj before are advising people with medical conditions to take appropriate measures. People who suffer from blood pressure, make sure that you take all your medications there. People suffering from asthma, to take their pumps and make sure you have got your medications. The diabetics, please make sure that you have got your tablets and people who are taking insulin, make sure you carry these with yourself. Do not leave them in the big luggage. Most of the time these luggage are lost and the diabetics, if they are without the medications, they end up with complications. For the 25,000 British Muslims going to Mecca, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office will have consular staff on hand and the Hajj delegation to ensure UK citizens have a problem-free pilgrimage.